Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to look at um, our fifth grade end of the year science project. Um, if you already don't know, we actually do an actual science project full on out with a report and um, some type of visual aid. So for this project, he decided to do a ex an experiment um, on dish soap to determine which soap cuts grease the fastest. Okay, I will link in a card, look on the top right now, it's a card on the right or left hand side of the screen that will take you to um, how we do our science projects within our home, meaning the documentation process. And that's what he's actually required to complete um, as he journeys through the different aspects of doing a science project. So here are his supplies. He wrote down a list. Go ahead, tell me on your list um, what you said your materials and supplies were, and then make sure you have those things out on the table. Go ahead. Okay. My dish soap. Your, your dish soap. So you're using two types of dish soap. You're comparing what? Uh, Myers Clean, Myers Clean Day or something? Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Myers Mrs. Clean Myers Day Mrs. against Dawn. Dawn. Okay. Oh, what else? Um, milk. You have your milk. Does it matter what kind of milk for this project? Mm, nah, we just milk. we just got some whole milk. Why do you think we got whole milk other than rather than um rather than like skim milk? If we're cutting if we're trying to figure out which dish dish soap cuts down or breaks down fat the most. Then whole milk because yeah, milk whole, has more fat. A, a, there you go. Absolutely. What else? What else do we have on your list? that you're reading from three measuring dispensers okay three measuring dispensers okay one measuring cup one measuring cup got it um blue yellow and red food liquid coloring okay which is we got like that a, great which is a good choice but you don't actually have to use those colors if you don't want to right you can use any Sorry. colors you want you just chose those specifically okay. what else um that's cotton swab Ooh. That's what we're missing. You're missing your cotton swabs. Okay, hold on before you leave to go get those. Is there anything else on your list that you need that you did not mention? Same size plates. Same size plates. How many? Two. Two. So all you're missing is your cotton swabs, right? Yes. So go ahead and let's go get that. So a part of this process, guys, was for him to um, write down all of his supplies. Everything you think you will need. And then he had to write a procedural document um, that explains step by step how he would complete his <clears throat> science project. Okay, literally, I had him write down every single step. Get the materials, that he wanted to fill his measuring cup next, then he wrote down pour, oh my goodness, he wrote P-O-O-R, <laughs> that's fine. Um, it was going so quickly when he was probably writing this, but I had him write out everything, okay? Um, and then he's going to complete the science experiment. And he has to follow his procedural document exactly how it says it. So if he, um, did, if he forgot a step or if he did not write it out properly, that's, that may alter the results. So he is going to have to start over again with the experiment correcting his procedural document, okay? All this stuff, his materials, his procedural document, his observations, all that is written first on paper. You also need a um, pen or a pencil because you have to write down your observations. He's also going to type all that up um, in report format. Okay, great, so we have our cotton swabs, wonderful. Okay, so don't you need Again, don't you need something to write with? Because you have to write down your observations as they're occurring, right? Can you go get it for me? I'm not going to get that for you. <laughs> go get it yourself. Thank you. So as noted within the um, science experiment report that explains how we do everything, he had to already go through the research phase. So the research phase consisted of, you know, what's in milk, skim milk, low-fat milk, um, whole milk, 
different types of dish soap, the purpose of dish soap. He also looked at a few videos um, to determine if there are if there are any experiments out there similar to what he's doing, there are a few out there. So he looked at those videos already. So he knows what's supposed to happen. Okay. So we're looking at it from a perspective of this is what's supposed to happen based on our hypothesis. So based on your hypothesis, do you remember what you said? There was two things. First, you said something about which dish soap. Okay. And then you said what is supposed to happen within this experiment. Can you talk to me a little bit about that? Okay. So based on your research, talk to me about your hypothesis and um, what you hope to happen in this experiment. I hope that all goes well. And my hypothesis is Dawn is going to clean better. Okay. So what's supposed to happen? So well, let me make sure I understand. So you hope all goes well. <laughs> it should go well because you wrote your procedural document, right? Mm -hmm. Which is your step-by-step -step process of how you're going to conduct the experiment. And as you know, you have to do it exactly how Let's you it. wrote it out on this piece of paper, right? And as you're doing it, if you figure out, oh, I made a mistake. Oh, that doesn't make sense. Or, oh, I didn't do that right. You have to keep going with your experiment and then we're going to document that observe what happens and then we're going to ad address our procedural document by going back to it updating it and then doing the experiment again just to see if there are any changes in the um, result of the experiment right okay so you also said you think Don is going to clean better. Why do you think Don is going to clean better they than used Mrs. Myers? It to save the ducks. <laughs> because they used it to save the ducks, or they used it to clean the ducks, right? Do you know um, where that came from? Do you remember that oil spill that happened a long time ago, a few years ago? Mm -hmm. And they used Don to clean the ducks who were impacted um, by that oil spill. Okay. Um, but I mean, how does the oil spill happen? Oh, so how did the oil spill ha happen? About right. A boat. I don't know. I'm not going to tell you that answer because what we're going to do, better yet, what you're going to what you're going to do, since you are interested in learning one, why did that happen in the first place? How did it happen? Um, you can actually go on YouTube or you can Google, or I'll send you some links if you can't find anything exact exactly what you're looking for. I'll send you some links to um, so that you can dive into that, and then you can come back to me and tell me what you learn. I think you'll be interested in finding out what happened, by the way. It's all about our environment because you're so environmentally conscious, conscious, environmentally conscious. Okay. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> okay. So what's supposed to happen in this experiment? Talk to me. Um, so that is supposed to spread when you put the, um, when you put the soap in it, because the soap has clean. Okay. Issue. Hold on. So dye is supposed to spread when you put the soap in it. What is it? On the dye. The dye? Put the soap on the dye? Yeah. Okay, so okay, talk to me. Let me explain it differently. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. The dye should spread when you put the soap, when you um put when you um put the cotton swab with soap on it. Um, and the reason why is because the soap hold on, hold on. cuts fat. Hold on, hold on. I still don't understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying, but I want you to articulate your thoughts a little bit better, Okay. So when we put the dye in it, what what is the dye going in? The, the milk. Oh. Well, that's telling you okay, that. so it's okay, it's okay. So once the dye is added to the milk, you're going to take the soap and do what? Um, put it on a cotton swab and dip it, and the dye should spread because the soap has cleaning agents. Okay. And that, that cuts fat. Okay. Oh, dun, dun, dun. Let's see what happens. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. I'm excited. Go ahead. I'm going to just record what you're doing. Step one, get your materials done. Fill okay. your measuring cup with one half cup milk. Okay. So step one, get your materials. You got us.
tomatoes, lamb, wings, raw, raw, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkeys, rat, you name it. Beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, wings, raw, raw, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkeys, chicken, turkeys, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, wings, raw, raw, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkeys, rat, you name it. Beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, beans, greens. So now what are we doing? So now we are gonna. Now um, we're gonna is not a word. <laughs> okay, so we're about to. So we're about to put two dyes on opposite sides. She uses one soap. I use one soap. So we're about to put dye on two opposite sides, and I use one what? brand of soap. And I and use you're gonna another use, brand of soap. Which is your hypothesis? Dye, okay. Dye, dye, dye. Okay. Why we're we doing that? So we can see which one goes fat, moves faster, and um, kills fat faster. Kills fat? Kills them. Nah. <laughs> Cuts, the fat. Cuts the fat. Okay, ready? So I'm going to use the yellow, you're going to use the blue. What did we observe? What what did you observe? What did you gather from this experiment? I gathered that Dawn soap has a has a, a longer reaction. Mm -hmm. Um so so you so you don't have to use a lot of Dawn to um clean to clean multiple dishes. Okay. So let's talk about cutting fat. Because your hypothesis was that Dawn cuts fat better. Mm -hmm. So is your hypothesis right or wrong that Dawn cuts fat better? Wrong. Wrong. So your hypothesis is wrong because we just observed fat. that they both cut fat pretty much the same based on our experiment, right? Mm -hmm. But but how can you change your hypothesis? What should you change your hypothesis to based on what we learned today? Um, my hypothesis would be that both of your them... Your what? A hypothesis mm -hmm. should, should be, be that um, both of them should be should be the same, and that they and that Don ha would have a longer reaction time. Okay, so that's your hypothesis right there. Yes. Very good. That Don what has a longer reaction time. So because Don has a longer reaction time to your dishes, your greasy or fatty dishes, 
what does that mean? You said it earlier in the conversation. Um, when we're cleaning means, dishes. When you're means, cleaning dishes. <laughs> I actually do clean dishes sometimes. I know. Go ahead. Um, um, that um, Dawn, that you'll need less Dawn to clean multiple dishes. Less Dawn to clean most, multiple dishes. And yeah. whatever amount of Dawn that you use to wash your dishes, can it... Can we use that same amount to go through the entire dishwashing process probably? Yeah. Right. Very good. How about Mrs. Myers? And I love Mrs. Myers. So does that mean we have to stop using Mrs. Myers because it doesn't no. cut grease? No, it doesn't mean that. But what? But think about it. It, it. it cuts grease, Very good. but since it doesn't have as long as a reaction time, mm -hmm. it, you have to use a lot more. Now, do I have to use a lot more? Is that the right thing to do? say? No. Not we that. have to use more. Well, no, okay. Yeah. No, no. Okay. I get what you're saying. You have to use more, but are you saying more? If I have a set of dishes, I put a lot of soap on my dishes to clean it. Is that what you mean? A lot more soap I mean, in that manner? I mean, um, I mean more than you would have to do with Dawn. Explain that to me a little bit more. So I have dishes in my sink. Mm -hmm. I'm using Mrs. Myers. I'm cleaning my dishes. Do I have to put more in that same batch of water? Because remember, when we added more in the same batch of milk, the reaction still stopped while Dawn kept going. So what would I have to do if I'm using Mrs. Meyer's dish soap? Um, you would have to replace the water. Exactly. So basically, what we've learned is that for Dawn and Mrs. Meyer's, they both cut grease. They both cut fat. Boom, we got it, right? Mm -hmm. However, Dawn's reaction time because they're the chemical agents in it lasts longer so we can use however amount of dawn you decide to use you can use it for your entire cleaning process you don't have to like dump the water out and get new water and new soap it keeps on going which is great it saves energy not energy saves water and saves on product right it saves the so, ducks and saves the ducks but mrs myers we can also use um this to clean our dishes however we're probably going to have to stop in the middle of a cycle, meaning you're washing your dishes by hand. We're probably going to have to wash wash them in batches. Wash a few dishes, dump the water out, add more new add new water and more soap to continue washing the dishes because the reaction stopped basically instantaneously, right? So I would not feel comfortable in using Mrs. Dawn, Mrs. Mrs. Myers. <laughs> I wouldn't be comfortable in using Mrs. Myers in, you know, when you get a um, sink full of soapy water in order to soak your dishes and then wash them. I would not do that with Mrs. with Mrs. Myers because their the reaction stops almost instantaneously. But with Dawn, I could soak my dishes in Dawn and trust that they're actually um, the grease and the fat and stuff is actually being cut. Awesome, great job, high five. So now. <sighs> The documentation part mm. all right guys hopefully you enjoyed this video if you have any questions for us leave them in the um, comment box below and as always guys you make it a great day be, be blessed. blessed bye